The oil stocks I'm reviewing today are some of the best in the industry, and I've already bought two of them. Uh, both positions are in the red, but I'm playing the long game. After oil prices have dropped to historic lows, these are some of the best value stocks to buy right now. The 2020 market crash, which I predicted last year with a, with a high probability, is giving us better buying opportunities. Now, let's get this out of the way. Other energy uh, sources will replace oil and fossil fuels. I'm personally looking forward to that future. Uh, I want renewable energy to become more, more cost effective faster, although investment shouldn't be based on hopes and desires. Looking at the data and trends, oil will continue to be a top source of energy for the next few decades. During that time, the best oil businesses will continue to produce big cash flows. Sure, it's going to be tough in the short term. Um, some oil companies are already cutting their buybacks and their capex spending. Additionally, the coveted oil dividends aren't looking as safe. Still, with that said, and my money on the line, I'm not worried. The short term swings are just creating better buying opportunities. I might double down soon. So let's go ahead and dive into those top six oil stocks that are trading at low prices. But first, I'd really appreciate it if you just tap the like button down below ever so gently, uh, as well as subscribe to my channel. All right, the stock market has recovered some of its losses. It's up 27% from recent lows, and oil stocks have rebounded a bit as well, although they're still down big. With my uh, Robinhood app, up first, you can see ExxonMobil is down 46% in the last year. Chevron is down 26%. BP, 47%. ConocoPhillips, 44%. Royal Dutch Shell, 45%. And Total, last but not least, is down 38%. These energy companies are called the super majors. They're some of the largest publicly traded companies in the oil industry. After the recent drop, their combined market cap still comes in at $690 billion. And last year, in 2019, uh, they had combined revenue of over $1.2 trillion. That's trillion with a T. Although oil businesses are capital intensive, they have lower profit margins than some other big industries think technology. On top of that, low oil prices, lower oil prices are squeezing profit margins even further. Even some companies are going into the red. But these big players should be able to weather the storm. And for the small oil companies, not so much. Too many of them are over leveraged with debt and their cost of oil production is higher on average than the super majors largely due to scale. Some of the small players have already started to go bankrupt and more will follow. Though I say that and there's a silver lining. As the small companies go bankrupt, they will have to sell their assets at deep discounts. So the top oil companies can pick up great bargains. They're prioritizing areas with the lowest costs of production. And as the economy emerges from the self-induced recession, oil demand will climb once again. People will dr be driving more, more businesses will be operating. Uh, now, it might take a few years, but supply and demand will balance out, and I'm gonna be along for that ride. As always, please do your own homework before jumping into these oil stocks or any investments. These oil stocks might be some of the best uh, stocks to buy in 2020, although only time will tell. So please pay attention to not only potential gains, but also risks as well. To lower the potential of big losses, you can spread out your investments, the proverbial, uh, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Um, and Warren Buffett has called diversification protection against ignorance. Although Buffett accepts his ignorance. I put together a video on that topic uh, and I'll drop a link to it down in the comments below. Now I'd really appreciate it if you just tap the like button down below as well as subscribe to my channel and please let me know if you have any comments or questions.